guys, welcome back to another video. It is your boy, Dynamic Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install shaders on Lunar, Cl Lunar Client just like this, so you can get the coolest, I don't know, shaders you ever want. And yeah, so let's just hop right into the video and make sure to like and subscribe. Quick thing before we start though, um, you do not have to be installing any of the shaders that I use in this video, because my computer is pretty good at running shaders, so um, yeah, so just like install any shaders you want. So uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. My bad. All right, so hopping into it, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna search up uh, shaders uh, and then forge. So after we do that, you wanna go on a trusted website like Curse Forge and then just click on shaders like this, and then it's gonna take you to this. You don't wanna go here. You wanna click the Curse Forge, click Minecraft, and then click shaders. So after you click shader or type in shaders, you can choose any of these. Choose anyone that's your best for your PC. Immersed with shaders is a good one, uh, and complementary shaders are pretty good. Iris shaders are good for um, like lower end PCs. Same with complementary. Um, personally, I use BSL shaders. So um, and Cylinder's vibrant shaders are also good for uh, lower end PCs. So yeah. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to be um, downloading BSL shaders just because I have a pretty good PC. So basically what you want to go do is scroll down until you see game versions, okay? Once you're at game versions, uh, choose your version, or not version, game version. Uh, don't click Optifine or Iris yet. We're going to hop into that once we get to a Lunar Client. So we're just going to, for me, I'm going to be clicking on 1.20. Go to these three dots and then click download file, okay? So you should see it pop up uh, right here, BSL shaders like this. So you don't want to extract it. Don't extract it, okay? Please don't, okay? Just keep it how it is, okay? Just keep it here, and I'll show you the next step. So basically what you want to do now is, uh, so go into your uh, taskbar, click on search, and then search up run, okay? So after you click on run, type in app percent, app data percent. Here, I'll zoom in for you guys. I don't, oh, I'll just zoom in on the thing. But after you click this, click okay. And then, I'll, and then I'll bring this up. Um, you want to find the file that says .minecraft and then go into shader packs and it should say folders empty. So bring up your downloads. Should be right behind it. I'm going to bring up... Where is it? Oh, it's on the side. My bad. So basically, you have your BSL, shader, BSL shaders or whatever shaders you have. And what you want to do is just drag it in just drag it into shader packs okay and that's all you need to do okay so close downloads and then you just want to keep this here so minimize this and then <clears throat> make sure to choose optifine okay so i so on the latest version they have fabric and regular lunar so you might need to do some discovering for lunar and optifine and you can also go to different versions depending on what shader version you have but I'm going to go 1.20, and then you got to select Optifine, okay? And I'm just going to click Launch Game. Alright, so once you're in Lunar Client, uh, go to Lunar Settings, click Mods, and then search up Lighting. And then make sure this is disabled, okay? Your shaders won't work if you have this on, so make sure to disable it. So click the X, and then exit out of this. So basically, what you want to do is click Minecraft Settings, go to Video Settings, click Shaders, and then it should be off, okay? And then click the BSL or whatever shaders you have, dot zip, okay? Once you click that, you're gonna click done. It's gonna click the Mojang logo and everything. And then click done, done, and then click single player, new world. So I'm loading in. <clears throat> and then there you have it. You are having shaders and that's all you need to do. Hopefully you found this helpful. And um, if you have any issues or comments, please l let me know in the, you know, comments below. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.